Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lawrence Licensing Board meeting is now in order. Members in order present today from left to right are Commissioner Jorge Hernandez, Commissioner Ron Martin, myself, Chairman Pedro Torres, uh, Lieutenant Sean Conway from the Lawrence Police Department, and Lieutenant Paul Macron from the Lawrence Fire Department. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes of the August 16th meeting as presented. Second. There's a motion on the floor and it's been seconded to accept the motion to accept the minutes of August 16th. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This meeting is being televised and it's being recorded. The next meeting of this board will be on September 13th, 2017 at 6 p.m. Okay, first item on the agenda for today is Youth Development Organization, Mark Kempert. State your name for the record. Good evening, uh, my name is Mark Kempert. I'm the Executive Director of the Youth Development Organization here in Lawrence YDO. Um, the permit request is for our sixth annual Taste of the Merrimack Valley. It's our one uh, big fundraiser for the year where we have uh, restaurant partners prepare food samples, we sell tickets. Um, and have some auction items to help raise money for the organization. Um, the details of the event, we're currently planning for October 1st, uh, 4th, it's a Wednesday night. Um, last, uh, the, the estimate, it's a fundraiser. We try to get more people in the door every year. Uh, the estimate we have on there is for 300. Last year we were under 200, so it's a, a generous, uh, a generous uh, estimate for what we might get for the event. Um, it's being held in the same space as the past three years at the event space at 15 Union Street in the Everett Mill. Um, and I have obtained our certificate of liability insurance. So if, uh, if the commissioners or anyone has any questions for me, I can, I can provide more insight. Question. Yep. When we, whenever we see youth development or, or anything to do with youth and alcohol, will, there'll be no kids there, correct? Everybody's going to be over 21? We'll have some kids present who will be performing for the, for the guests, um, but the alcohol is going to be a cash bar, and we have a separate area where people were carded to purchase tickets to get those beverages. How many kids? Uh, 25 about what we had last year. They're, they're there to showcase the program and, and what we do during the school year and, and summer programs. So once this is over, the, all the alcohol is taken out of the building, correct? Yep. Yes. That's after the kids leave, correct? Yes. Okay. I'd, I'd need something in writing once uh, prior to this. I'd, I'd ask Mr. Chairman that just so that the alcohol will, will uh, be taking out, taking out the night of it so that in case something did have to go on Thursday night up there at the at their uh, at 15 Union Street, you know, there's no alcohol involved and stuff like that because of the youth. We just have to be we have to be safe with that, okay? Yep. So in writing from from my organization yeah. about yep. how just saying that you were going to remove all alcohol either that night or the next morning. Okay. okay. We use uh, the party connection right. for for our yep. bar service, so there. Give us, it's a pretty much a standard letter. Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll do that. I do have one question for the board. Um, we've recently found out that there's a Chamber of Commerce event planned for the same night and they're honoring the Community College President Lane Glenn with an award and we, we believe that it may conflict with some of our uh, invited guests. And we were, uh, I've talked to the insurance company, it's easy for them to change the date if we were to move it, uh, say delay, postpone for one week. Um, would it be, difficult to also change the date on the the wine and beer and wine permit if we decide to postpone one week what is the other date it would be october 11th the following wednesday you want to have them both at the same time do both both what permits at the, the same time and then cancel together? one it's i mean no 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 it's not we want to avoid a conflict with a separate organization. So why don't they just change the date now? So why can't you just, if you vote for it, can you change the date now? Or? Well, we have, we have saved the dates out. We have requests with some of the, uh, the restaurants that are planning to participate. So they've already, some have started planning for the fourth. 
and it would be premature for me to assume that they can all just shift one week. See, the thing is, once there's a date on the license, you can't use it any other day except that date. Okay. Can I, if, if we decide to move, could I reappear before the board in September? Uh, yeah, as long as you're 30 days, 30 days before. Mm, that would, close. yeah, it would give me close to 30 days. Or, or you could apply for, or you can pay for two and use whichever one of the two. It's up to you. I mean, you could, you can't use the license for a different date. Can I get, okay, I understand that. Um, if I pay for two and I only use one, well, can I get reimbursed for the? No. So I'm going to be out a hundred bucks? Yeah. Just a, it's a chance you take. All right. Um, can we do paperwork for two permits then? Call me tomorrow and I'll make, give me the information in the morning. All right. Okay, okay we'll so do that. We'll do September October 11th. 4th and the 11th. And October 4th and October 11th. Sorry, yep. October 4th and 11th. Okay, I'll make a motion we approve the one day wine and malt permit for youth development organiz organization on October 4th and the 11th. There's a motion on the floor and it's been approved uh, to provide one day wine and malt for youth development for October 4th and 11th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so Thank see you. Pat tomorrow. And All right, thanks. Okay, next item on the agenda is a transfer for Lisa Bebo, DBA, to have it on the Merrimack LLC. Good evening, Chairman Torres, Commissioner Martin, Commissioner Hernandez, Lieutenant Conway, Lieutenant Macaron. For the record, my name is Robert F. Kelly. I'm an attorney in Lawrence with offices at 130 Parker Street. I represent the applicant uh, Tavern on the Tavern on Merrimack LLC, with Lisa Bebo being the manager, who's present before the board this evening. Uh, we're proposing that you allow us to transfer the license presently held by Mead Corporation to the new entity called Merrimack, uh, called Tavern on Merrimack, LLC. Uh, Ms. Bebo has um, spent the last uh, almost 20 years in uh, restaurant management, and she's looking to bring that prowess and experience to benefit uh, the facility at uh, 275 Merrimack Street. And... Um, we have uh, supplied the necessary documentation uh, to the agent of the board and to the Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission, together with a certificate of good standing for the corporation that presently holds the license, Mead Corporation, uh, together with the Corey on uh, Ms. Bebo. And we're asking for the board's uh, permission to uh, continue the license, uh, tr can allow the transfer of the license that's been continually in effect uh, for over 20 years at 275 Merrimack Street. Okay. Now, is she going to be the owner or just the manager? She's the manager Both? of the LLC. She's the manager and owner mm -hmm. of the LLC, not the owner of the real estate. The owner of the real estate is the Lupoli Companies, and um, we are a tenant of the Lapoli companies as the owner of the building. Any questions? No, no, I don't have um, Did Ms. Waters gave you a letter how we're requiring as of the new, as of December that everybody has to have an occupancy on an outdoor patio? Yes, I, the, I understand the occupancy is 99, both in a combination of both the interior of the premises as well as uh, the patio combined. Okay. Uh, I wasn't aware until recently that uh, you're requiring some sort of professional plot plan or whatever, although this, this uh, patio has been in place for more than 20 years. Yeah, but we've been having problems with overcrowding on patios. So. Right, this isn't a patio that's above ground. This is flat on the ground, and um, we'll be glad to provide uh, okay. whatever you need. And uh, is she doing any remodeling at all, or? No remodeling at all. No remodeling? Okay. Anybody have any questions? Oh. Okay, I'll make a motion. We approve the alcohol transfer from Formerly Mead Corporation to Lisa Bebo, Tavern on the Merrimack. Second. 
There's a motion has been seconded for the transfer of Lisa Bebel DBA Tavern on the Merrimack. All in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, next item on the agenda is a change of manager for Lawrence Fuel Company, 224 Winthrop, Nathan DeBow. Your name for the record? Nathan Doro. Are you uh, purchasing? I'm taking over as manager of the business. As the manager of the business? Yes. Okay. The papers are all in order. There is a difficulty here. We're not sending them in electronically. These papers are going to be filed manually on the papers into Boston. They're having a few glitches right now on some particular items. Okay. Are there any questions? No, this is that uh, mobile station. Yep. Okay, I'll make a motion. We approve the change of manager for the Lawrence Fuel Company for Nathan Seaball. Second. There's a motion on the floor and has been seconded for a change of manager to Lawrence Fuel Company. Nathan DeBow, all in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <clears throat> you. Okay, next item on the agenda is a change in manager for La Cava Fine Cuisine, 2022 Union Street. Good evening, members of the board. Uh, Elton Watkins representing La Cava Fine Cuisine and Spirits, Inc. I'm here with uh, Mr. Trumpe, who's um, requesting that he be appointed manager or he approve his, his appointment as manager. He's been working for two, two years as assistant manager on a full-time basis at the uh, at the premises is familiar with its operation and the various uh, statutes and laws in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Okay. Any questions? No, I know, Mark. I've, I've been dealing with them a couple of years now. Okay, I'll make a motion. We approve the change of manager for La Cava Cuisine to, to Mark H. Trumpy. Second. There's a motion on the floor that's been seconded for a change of manager in La Cava Fine Cuisine to Mark A. Trumpy. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, the next item of the agenda is a change of capacity, Carolina Alonzo, DBE Elite Lounge. I don't see them here. I don't see her. Make a motion to table. I'll make a motion we table. Any action on Elite Lounge? Second. The motion on the floor and it's been seconded to table. Any action on change of capacity on Carolina Carolina Alonzo, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, the next item on the agenda is a common bitchless license for Pronto Pizza Master Tropical. 394 Broadway. Hi, my name is Edward Herrera. It's actually Master Pizza Tropical, no Pronto. Pronto is no more. Yeah, it's from Pronto Pizza to Master Pizza. It used to be Pronto, now you're changing it to Master, right? Yeah. Do we have any questions, sir? No. Okay. Ed, no, you're not gonna. You don't want any alcohol, right? You're not gonna go that. At way. the moment, I don't want no alcohol. No. Right. Just no, just food the... and okay. food. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion. We approve the common victory license from Pronto Pizza to Master Pizza Tropical. Second. There's a motion on the floor, and it's been seconded to approve the common victory license from Pronto Pizza to Master Pizza Tropical. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The eyes have it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay, next item on the agenda is a used cars retail space for Robert Young DBA, Young Truck and Equipment. Hi, I'm Robert Young, Young Truck and Equipment, and I'm seeking approval for a used car dealer's license at 670 South Union Street. Now you're looking for a used truck license, not yes. cars, right? Yes. Did they give you an idea? It doesn't say here how many cars or, or how many trucks, sorry. Did they give you an idea of how many it, trucks? It's, if you want to restrict me to 10 vehicles on the property, that's, I'm fine with that. Anybody have any questions for this gentleman? Okay, I'll make a motion where you approve the used truck. I, oh. I just wanted to, I just wanted to read this for a second. <laughs> Quick tonight. So, 
All you're going to be working on is trucks, right? Just trucks. CDL style trucks. C all CDL stuff. Twenty-six thousand, twenty-seven thousand rated. And yeah, above, there correct? could be some medium duty or light duty trucks, right. but Street six trucks. wheel dumps to ten wheel dumps to triaxle dumps. Okay. And maybe a backhoe or a skid steer here and there, but. Okay. All right. So you're doing mechanic work too, or just? No mechanic work. Just selling them. Just selling them. Okay, I'll make a motion we approve the used truck retail space for young truck and equipment. Second. There's a motion on the floor and it's been seconded for a used car retail space for Robert Young, DBA Young Truck. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Thank, Thank you. you. Tomorrow morning. Okay, the next item on the agenda is uh, Super Valley Auto Sales, a change of address to Antonio Medina. DBA Ray Medina Auto. So, from what I read here, your name for the record? Antonio Medina. You're moving? Yes. So, you used to be at 31 Merrimack Street? Yes. And you're moving to 431 South Union Street? Yes. Are you aware that the, that the amount of cars are lower now? Yes. <laughs> okay. What's he gonna that's, do with those 20 that's extra? one of the reasons. Excellent, man. <laughs> what are you going to do with the 20 extra cars you have on the lot? No, no. Uh, right now, I got 27 cars on my lot. Our, our, okay. You have 27 on your lot? Yeah, right now. On Merrimack Street. Yes. 31 Merrimack, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Just remember, you got to keep 30 under. Yes. All right. Who owns that property? Who owns that property? You do, right, Raj? Okay. All right, I'm going more set on the police side. All set. Yeah, I'm all set. Then. I'll make a motion that we approve the change of address for Super Auto Sales to 431 South Union Street. Second. There's a motion on the floor that's been seconded for a change of owner, right? She wrote her address. Oh, a change of address for Super Value Auto Sales to Antonio Medina, DBA Ray Medina. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The eyes have it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The next item on the agenda is a change of officers for Evolution Auto Sales and Repairs at 58A Havel Street. Space for 30 cars. Freddie Pena is president. Juan Lopez is director and treasurer and Jose Infante is the current registered. Good so evening. So who's? This is Fernandez Frederick Peña. Okay, and your? Frederick, Frederick Peña. Juan Lopez. Juan Lopez. Okay. Do you have any questions? Lieutenant? 58A, that's in the right of Union Street, right? <clears throat> You're right at the corner of Union and Haverhill? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yep. Right yeah. across from the, from the across senior, the front, yeah. right from the senior center, right? Movement City. Uh, yeah, the um, uh -huh. LHA. L yeah, the LHA housing, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right. I gotta I gotta warn you guys. If you guys are gonna do this, right? We've had problems down there in the past where the previous owner was blaring loud music, things like that. I can't have that. You can't, you know, you can't have cars pulling in with loud music. And they come in with loud music, you gotta tell them to turn it down. You gotta be respectful for the neighbors. That's been a lot for a long time. I don't expect you guys to to, to do anything different other than, than abide by the rules of the city and the state, right? Right, of course. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. Questions? Okay, I'll make a motion we approve the change of offices for Evolution Auto Sales and Repairs. Second. So there's a motion on the floor and has been seconded to change the offices for Evolution Auto Sales and Repairs. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See me tomorrow. Okay, this is a canvas and solicitors, Brian Ortega for Comcast, and Michael Bernabe from Comcast. This table marks. Mr. has returned no papers. However, Mr. Brian Ortega is. Okay, I'll make a motion everything. we table any action on Brian Ortega for Comcast and Michael Bernabe. Second. This is a motion on the floor. To table the matter for canvas and solicitors for Brian Ortega and Michael Bernaba. All in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Uh, 
The next item on the agenda is a complaint for Compare Motors, Compare Motors, Elvis Perez, and Shirley Brenda Bay, 479 Broadway Street. Your name for the record? Elvis Perez. Speak into yeah. the mic. Elvis Perez, owner. Can I go? Do you mind? Yeah. Mr. Perez, do you know why you're here? Yes, sir. Okay. We have pictures from the Lawrence um, Inspectional Services Division. Mm -hmm. of you selling cars off your lot, outside of your lot. I, I use the term off your lot, but you put them in an empty lot across from the old Malden Mills, approximately about, I think it's about a, the 500 block of Broadway, right at the corner of Broadway and Park, directly across the street, same side as Santander Bank. Do you understand? You know, you know what I'm talking about, sure, right? definitely. We have various pictures of vehicles that are for sale there. And you took commercial plates, Sierra 44759, uh, uh, Massachusetts commercial plate, and you put it on two different cars in a lot. That's attaching plates, sir. That's an arrestable offense in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Whether or not the car's legally on the road or not, you cannot do things like that. Right. Who gave you the, who gave you the okay to put those cars in the lot? Did anybody, uh, did anybody? No, yeah, I'm the owner of the, of the business. And I'm in a... Well, you're the owner of what? No, I'm the owner of the business. Yeah. And this is Kelvin. Yeah, we he's, met him last week. Yeah, he's in the process of buying the business from me. So he made the mistake due to his lack of, I guess, experience well, we're not dealing on the with business. Calvin. We're dealing with you because the license is in your name. I do understand Who that. Who owns the property? Do you, do you own that, Raj? Yeah. This, this, this is a real problem. Now, all of a sudden, on the 11th hour... You try to throw us a curveball by saying you're selling it. That's an old trick that the bar owners do, too, when they know we're going to take their license. You intentionally took these cars off of your lot that you were licensed to be on, and you put them in somebody else's lot with illegal plates. That's a clear violation of your Class II license, used car, uh, used car license. I do understand. How long have you had, that, have you had this license? About a year. About a year. The, the inspector uh, that handled this, Inspector Hansen, I just want to look through his notes real fast. And Mr. Chairman, if you give me one second. Go ahead. Picture of his license is, is uh, it's hard. Oh, can we hear an explanation why yeah, so like I, we're clear on this? Like I said, um, I was overseas for three weeks. Then I came back and I just had a newborn. Uh, three days after I got back. So I'm in the process of um, selling the business to Kelvin. It's on, it's on the lawyer. The lawyer is working on it right now, on the uh, contract. And uh, so that's a mistake that he made. I wasn't aware of it until I saw Pat two days ago. I came in here, and I wasn't aware of anything. I found out two days ago when I saw her. She gave me all the paperwork. How long were you gone for? About a month. Of course, you, according to this report, you are allowing vehicles bearing New Hampshire registration plates to be sold under this license you presently hold with the City of Lawrence. Used car office, uh, used car uh, license 73 slash 17. You know, I, I'd make a recommendation that the license be suspended. If he's selling it, let him, you know. If he's selling stuff out, out of this, outside of the scope of his license, which he obviously is, he's he not even there for a month, and they're putting cars, and they're putting cars on private property that they don't even own. I mean, you, sir, you own the business. I've been there for years, sir. I never, I never had any problems there. You, know, you, you own the business. Yes, sir. You own the business. Obviously, you, you can take off for a month. You know, that, that's your, that's your prerogative, 
But why would, why would one of your workers or a potential owner think it's okay to just take your vehicles, bought under your license, why would they take that and, and, and decide to put it on somebody else's property and decide to sell them? Plus attached plates, attached plates that don't have anything to do with these, with these cars. Two plates, two of the same plates on two different cars that weren't registered commercially, those cars were for sale out of your lot. So to, for me, that's a clear and distinct violation of the of, Absolutely. Of, of, this, of laws on, on, on car sales. And I would recommend the license be, be uh, revoked immediately. There, because no, there's no tell how much is gonna be there because I have to notify the state police. I better notify Title V tomorrow through an email. Pat's gonna have to send this whole package over to them because they're gonna have to look at everything. Now they're gonna have to research every car that this gentleman has sold that's been registered in the Commonwealth. Maybe they weren't registered in the Commonwealth, but there's got to be some in there. And it's a clear and distinct violation of, of, of Mass General Laws. He, he's selling the cars totally outside the scope of it. Had that's somebody exactly called us, way. had somebody called us on the day of this, we would have we would have locked him up for attaching the plates. Like I said, I will let Kelvin answer that question to you because I'm not I'm not aware of any of those plates or any of those vehicles. But you're responsible, the sir. The license is in your name. It's just I like understand. A, and I'll go, you know, I, I hope you do understand. And the reason why we're coming down strong in this is we're fed up with people that aren't, they just think they get the, the, the class two license and they can go off and do what they want. Well, I'll tell you, if I was Malden Mills and I owned that property or, or anybody, if that was my property and put those cars in there, I'd be furious, furious. What right do you have to go on somebody's property, park a car out there, with bad plates and put put it out there for sale. You don't do things like that. That's well outside the scope of your license, and that's why I'm asking your I, license be I agree revoked 100%. immediately. Roger, can you come up for a minute? Just say your name for the record. Hi, Roger Farah. So in this whole process, were you aware of what was going on with these two gentlemen, that they were changing ownership or anything like that? There was talk that they were gonna do some kind of partnership together or trying to sell it to the other one, but I had no knowledge of them trying to put cars someplace else. I know the city, there's a big, huge problems with that, where other dealers always are parking cars everywhere else, and I understand the board very clearly that they're coming down on that, and, and it's, it's right. It's the right thing to do. I mean, it's, it's just, these dealers are just... Right. So, Mr. Farron, neither one approached you at any point in time to ask for permission to put cars on that lot? No, no, because I don't own the lot. The lot is owned by Dunkin' Donut. Own lot. Oh. I don't own the lot. The only thing I own is the 479 Broadway. Right. But I do know. I thought you owned that lot. No, he doesn't yeah, no, that's owned by the uh, Dunkin' Donut people. They just got approved oh. to put a Dunkin' Donut right. there. The Kofuri, the Kofuri people, they're the one. Because uh, I, I thought you, I don't mean to cut you off. I thought, he owned it. I thought you owned it. No. That's why I, I almost called you today and said, Rod, you won't, what's the story here? No, like, if I own it, it up and I found yeah, it, if yeah. I own that lot, they would never park there. I know, there. I know that, yeah. because I, I know I, how you run the business. It, I know you exactly, business. So yes. I agree. No, no, I do not. I mean, uh, he, you know, Rod, you, okay. No, I thought he owned no. it. I'm sorry, no. Jared. Yeah, no, I do not. Um, you want to come up, sir? Sure. Thanks, Are you me. aware that, that uh, your, your bond has expired on that business? I'm sorry? Are you aware that your bond expired on September 6, 2017? Uh, yes. Um, the, the reason why I didn't renew is because I'm in the process of doing the sales. I got proof that uh, we're, everything, is, everything is processed. The bond and everything, it's being processed. Since which state, though? Huh? What, what's, can you... I, I got the paperwork. Uh, I, I didn't what's the date, though? Did you just do it? Uh, like a week ago, and I just signed the cloud, the papers today. I'm sorry. Stand up to the microphone. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I signed the papers with the with the insurance uh, today, but we filled everything out like a week ago. I got the papers here that we're we're working on on the transfer. We're, we uh, every, we're, we took the paperwork to the lawyer. How long has the business transaction? been attempted to take place in terms of the sale? For well, about a month. About a month? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the insurance What's bond, the insurance bond uh, is now coming up on a year? I'm doing a, like Having, a combo on oh, excuse a, me. Uh, uh, it, it, will, it will be expiring 
from yeah, the but it, it, six. six. They said right. that everything will take it be in effect right. tomorrow. That that's what the the insurance person told me. I think that that is of any kind. Tomorrow, the the insurance everything. And you, you said that all of that got signed today. Today, yeah. I think uh, I said it was going to be processed tomorrow, and they will call me. Everything will be in effect uh, as soon as it's processed. But you, you're not the license holder. Um, so you getting a bond? Yeah, he's not yet. Paul just brought that up. It was a good point. That, it was my okay. mistake to do that. Yeah. I'm playing games. Um, okay, okay, I'll make a motion that we, based on the uh, recommendation of Lieutenant Conway, to suspend the license pending an, an investigation by the state police. Second. There's a motion on the floor and it's been seconded to suspend the license pending the investigation by the state police. And at that time, if the state police clears it, then you can come back and we can reinstate it. Uh, so that's in the base of a motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. So as of right now, your license is suspended. And you're going to get, he's going to give all the paper, Lieutenant Conway, he's going to give all the paperwork to the state trooper and he's going to come and visit you. Okay. And he's going to go over everything and when that gets resolved, then you can come back if he approves for you guys to reopen. Okay? Thank you. Right. Make sure all your phone numbers are good on this, on all your paperwork. Everything. That's what they're going to contact. How long does that process take? I don't know. We don't know. That's up to the state police. They, they usually move pretty quick. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, next item on the agenda is going to be Peralta Market, 165 Essex Street, Victor Reyes. Come and talk, call me tomorrow. This is no show. No papers we'll again. I have right called off. Mr. Peralta. Okay, I'll make a motion. that we oh. oh. office who speaks Spanish called him at all together four times. I don't know what else to tell you. No, we take him off. Okay, I'll make a motion. We'll remove the Peralta Market from the agenda. Second. So there's a motion on the floor has been seconded to remove Peralta Market from the agenda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So the next item on the agenda is Taqueria Pageant Steak for a ritualist license. Aye. Your name for the record? Yeah, uh, Mario Hiron. Okay. So he's just looking to get a ritualist license. He's going to take over 68 Willow Street. You don't own that, right, Roger? No, Roger Farrow, just to translate. No, I don't own that property. All right. <laughs> we don't know what you own. No. <laughs> he just asked me to stay to translate for him, so. <laughs> Thank That's you. very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll make a motion. We approve the victory license for take care of cash and steak and tacos. Second. There's a motion on the floor has been seconded to approve the victor's license for Tuckeria Passion and Steak. All in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make a motion. We adjourn. Yeah, one more. Two guys here. I think oh. guys right here. Uh, the second Who's that? Comcast. Oh, Comcast. Oh, they just showed up. Where is he? Right there. They're in the back. Comcast. Oh, I guess he's not here either. Uh, not here. All right, so there's a motion on the floor to adjourn. Second. So there's a motion on the floor to adjourn. It's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. <laughs>